All right, so we're going to always start something new over here on the Lockout Man podcast show. We are in channel, okay? I'm just a truck driver that's doing truck driving things. I do things like the MTC company spotlight. We do things like reaction videos. We also have the best conversation with truckers, and people that's in and out of the trucking industry. That's what we do over here. We try to make it happen for you guys to keep the content fresh and keep the content going. We also have Thirsty Trucking every week. All right? We're going we're gonna to put the thirstiness out there for you guys, okay? Now, the thirstiness is just for the guys, not for the women. Not for the women. I'm sorry. I don't have nothing for you. But for the guys, we got thirsty trucking for you. Right now, I am about to introduce a truck driver from YouTube. All right. You guys may know her. You may not know her. But she's come on and she made a re or a response video to Trucker Brown in accordance to the Coco situation. All right. I want to bring to you guys to the Lockout Men podcast show, CC Trucker. Hold on. I called into Trucker Brown's channel, I believe it was about a week ago, um, in response to he talking about how women dress, some women dress in the trucking industry too sexy, but it was more so about the dancing. So today's video he made was in regard to her being upset that people are, I guess, throwing jabs at her and stuff like that. My take on the whole situation is that it's mad petty. And when I say it's petty, I'm saying it's more petty on Trucker Brown's side because I feel like he's an older person. He's been in the industry for a hot minute, so he should have, I guess, at this point, have enough tough skin to be able to understand the difference between someone feeling pain in response to something or someone starting trouble with him. I believe that that young lady was feeling a level of sadness and pain due to the fact that who she thought was her friend a couple of people she thought was her friend kind of backstabbed her and was saying nasty, mean things and derogatory statements to her via text, right? So she made a response in saying how she felt about it. And she mentioned Trucker Brown's name that she don't really like him either. <clears throat> I could understand how he might have been a little bit surprised, but I honestly, I really wasn't surprised because he did make a video about females and how they dress and how they be showing their butt, right? So for him to be surprised about her feeling some type of way, I don't think he should have been. I think he should have been more expecting it and been ready to respond, but in a more graceful way. He should have given her grace on that situation because if someone is already going through a lot with a situation, I don't want to be the person to compile more stress onto that person. Chucka Brown should have made a video response in a more kind way. He should have just, you know, t told her that if she wanted to call in or maybe talk to him on some other platform and they squash whatever situation and that he meant no harm about whatever happened instead of like throwing more fuel on that fire because she was already pissed off. Because if you got to put yourself in other people's shoes sometimes. If somebody is already fighting four people or three to four people or whatever, you're not going to now be the fifth person to throw a jab. Like, leave it alone. Just be like, all right, I got it. And just take that L for that moment and let the person re recoup or regroup. Sometimes people come back and apologize. Maybe he could have gave her a chance to come back and, and apologize and say, hey, you know, I really didn't think you're a bad person. I just felt some type of way about the other couple of dudes that was throwing jabs at me. And I ain't really mean no harm to you. But he made a quick response. 
what I'm trying to say is what happened with the young lady was unfortunate as far as all the people coming at her or whatever. I don't know her personal business. I feel like she probably felt unsafe because the amount of of of, of rhetoric that was coming from the, the, the dudes that was coming at her, she probably felt unsafe. So she probably felt like, let me put these names on blast in case I need protection, in case people don't find, they find my body somewhere. Like we all got to think on some, what could possibly go wrong in a situation. So she probably felt she needed to make that video in response to everybody that could possibly potentially be a liability to her. John speaks eloquently, but some of the things he say can be pretty hurtful, right? Especially if someone is not that familiar with his channel or familiar with how he talks. So he mentioned about women with weaves are coons. <laughs> I'm laughing because I wear weaves and I know I'm not a coon. So, but if he's also saying that he's trying to be like in a leadership position where he's helping the community, you have to speak with grace and love. You can get your message across without insulting people, criticizing people, or anything of that nature. Because I hear a lot of things on uh, YouTube that people say about other people, and it's horrific, right? So we have to speak love into one another if we want to grow as a people. That's my point. That's my whole point about that whole situation, putting more drama into it. I felt like I was watching a season of Love and Hip Hop. Like, that's, this is where this whole trucking, like, like, I don't like where trucking is going. Bad enough, the government don't want truck drivers on the street any on the road anymore. They want everybody to be company, so they can determine how you're gonna run. Why? Why would you want to do this? Like, why? Why would y'all want to do this to one another at this point? It don't make sense. It don't. Go over there to her YouTube page. Make sure you subscribe to her, and let her know that Lockout Men sent you. If you guys have anybody that you would like for us to break let me know send it to me in the comments below or send it to me via email at lockout men podcast all right thank you guys very much for watching i really do appreciate it and stay tuned to see who we gonna break next something in the air tonight got a feeling coming over me i swear that this is that place to be in the water in the the water in the water